In this video, we'll be going from this two and a half meter deep trench to this fully completed rebar and wood concrete form. So the guys are just finishing up the preparation of the surface on the bottom of the dig. Uh, they're down to the white clay and they're currently in the process of creating a completely flat and level surface. And what they'll be doing is is uh, covering that surface with a layer of a couple inches of concrete to provide a platform to build the rebar framework. To begin the construction of the rebar framework, they start with these full-length pieces of rebar which come folded in half. So they remove the bend from the fold first and then use this crude but highly efficient template to measure and cut all the various lengths of rebar that will be needed. So Fair and Eric have been working for the last couple weeks on building these different shapes and sizes of a neos for all the specific applications in the rebar form. Additionally, we'll need several thousand pieces of alambre which Eric is preparing by starting with the coil of the wire cutting it in half on both hemispheres and then bending it to the convenient shape. And once we have a good supply of those, we're ready to start constructing. They begin with these pieces of rebar that are straight and turned up on the ends that define the width of the concrete form, then lay out a series of full-length rebar in between those to create squares that are all tied together on every joint with the alambre that was prepared earlier. And once that's done, they will raise that entire platform with pieces of rock so that the concrete, when it's poured, can flow underneath the rebar. The next step uses these small-sized anillos to build a cadena, which is basically a curb uh, around the entire platform at the exact location where, this is, where the foundation walls will be located. And then on top of that cadena, they'll use these larger anillos to construct the castillos, which are the pillars, the support pillars, which go in all the corners and everywhere where a metal beam will need to be supported. For now, these support pillars are only completed to the level of the foundation wall, but the rebar extends all the way up through the first floor and into the main floor of the house. For convenience, they tie those unfinished castillos together so they won't be flopping around. And then the final phase is to build a rebar mesh that connects all the castillos. And then we're ready for the wood forms, which have three ingredients. The simbras are these wood platforms that are reinforced with a diagonal bar in the back. And the front side is flat, which goes against the rebar. And these need to be treated with oil so the concrete won't stick to them. We have the 4x4s, which are used both horizontally and vertically behind the sembra to hold them in place against the weight of the concrete. And those are treated with oil as well. And finally, we'll also be using the heavy-duty wire, which is formed on one end to fit around a 4x4 four four, and then on the other end is left open. And these are what hold the wood and rebar sandwich together. They begin by building the sembra walls on both sides of the rebar. They feed the heavy wires through holes that they've pre-drilled in the sembra. Once they have the walls in place on both sides of the rebar, then they bring in the 4x4 four four posts and they'll be placing three 4x4 four four posts that run horizontally the full length of the wall and a series of 4x4 four four posts running vertically to hold the horizontal posts in place. They complete the structure by pulling the wires that they had fed through earlier tightly against the 4x4s on both sides and then twisting them tight. The last step of the process is to establish the vertical level and 
finalize the stability by planting support posts against the dirt wall on both sides. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be bringing in the cement pump and actually turning this structure into a concrete foundation.